I write down on cards. And actually, I, 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 I got dressed up just for you. I didn't wear, oh. I didn't wear this all day. Just, just <laughs> transparent. You. I didn't wear this all day. In my <laughs> pants, I have my three by five cards, which, which talk about feelings that I feel. Things and people that I'm happy and grateful for. The purpose of my life. I carry those cards in my pocket all day, every day. In my car, I had the purpose of my life on my steering wheel. I have my affirmations on my dashboard. If you went to my house, you'll see them on, on my walls. You'll see some things on my ceiling above my bed. You'll see something in my closet. When I, when I, I don't just write them, I speak them. When I speak them, I record them. I put it, I put it in a loop. I put it on my ear and I listen to myself saying positive affirmations thousands of times a day over and over and over and over and over and over again. And guess what happens when I'm consciously focusing on those positive emotions? I feel good. Right. So I've gotten to a point where that's my, basically it's my new baseline. But also when something happens and things happen to me like they happen to everybody else every single day, I'm able to have a default where I immediately go to what I'm happy and grateful for. I immediately ask myself, okay, what's positive about this situation? What can I learn from it? And let's just say it has served me well. So here's one other thing we'll talk about affirmations. And I am, I am not the person to be talking about anything related to the Bible or spiritual. I'm still on my journey. But you talked about faith. You talked about, you talked about the words we use. Written somewhere, taught sometime, I've heard that faith comes by hearing. Have you heard that before? Yes, sir. Faith comes by hearing. Hearing who? Hearing you. Because who do we hear more than anybody else? We hear ourselves mm -hmm. by the words we speak out loud and by the words we're speaking in our head. So you can have. about even though I don't but here's the thing you can be in faith because you see evidence of what you want you can see that person who's achieved what you wanted to achieve you can see the things that you want that actually exist that somebody else has okay I can be I can have faith for that but my mentor challenged me he said okay Stephen you have faith for those things but are you living in faith and what did I say I said huh he said yeah if faith comes by hearing and life and death is in the power of the tongue, then what are you saying? What are you saying? What are you saying? What are you saying? He kept saying that over and over. What are you saying to yourself? What are you saying to others? What are you saying to the universe? That's what you're really in faith for. So if you tell me you want to achieve a specific goal, but I don't hear you talking about it, you may have faith for it, but you're not living in faith. That makes sense. Mm -hmm. it does. That changed my that changed my whole perspective, and that's why I had to get myself into the habit, the skill of speaking the things that I want, writing the things that I want, reading the things that I want, and then I will feel the things that I want. And I understand, like I'm sure you do, and everybody else hopefully does, is you can't have it until you basically are it first. So that's my that's my little perspective that I've learned on on faith and, and on affirmations those are good so you said a couple of things that I want to pull all the way back okay so you said everything you say is an affirmation that is that's correct. a big deal for people to really process and I am definitely going to keep that in mind as I work with myself and as I work with my students like everything you say is an affirmation so you need to decide like you said to surround to consciously say things that are positive 